In this example, uh, we're going to learn about relative and absolute cell reference. Again, create a new workbook by clicking on the Windows uh, icon bottom on your bottom left corner of your screen. And then you select Excel. You input the data as shown. Okay, like this. Now, in number three, it says input the correct formula under uh, the currency column in the gray shaded area. So basically, uh, we have 10 euros. We're going to convert that to dollars. So we need to know the difference between a relative cell reference and absolute cell reference. First of all, in an absolute cell reference, if we click uh, here, we have equals A1. That's why equals, uh, let's select this number here, P5. So here we have a formula here. If we look in the formula bar, it's equals B5. Now, if we copy that all the way down, drag it down, you can see here that when I click on this cell, H5, and look, if you look in the formula bar, you'll see it equals B5. It then goes down to the next one, equals B6, equals B7, equals B8, equals B9, and so on. That's called a relative cell reference because it's relative to these over here. So it's increasing B4, B5, B6, and so on. And the absolute cell references, if we want to put equals B5, which is this number here, we want to multiply that number by the value inside in C1. So star is for multiply, C1. Press enter. Now that basically is after multiplying B5 by C1. Uh, again, now that should be C3, apologies. C3. So now if I click on that and drag it all the way down, you'll notice that it's equals B5 by C3. The next one is B6 by C4. The next one is B7 by C7 or C5. Notice that I don't want the C to change. That number is staying in the same place. So that's C3. I don't want it to change. So what I do is I put in an, a, a dollar symbol in front of the letter and a dollar, sim sim a dollar symbol in front of the, the digit. Now, I'm going to autofill that. So now you can see that what happens is, and if we look at the the, uh, the formula, it's equals B5 by C3. And again, as we scroll down here, if you look at the formula bar, you can see it's B11 by C3, B12 by C3, B13 by C3. So that C3 doesn't change. That's an absolute cell reference. So over here in this um, column here now, 10 euros is equal to, so it's 10 euros, asterisk for multiply by C3. But again, that number is moving anywhere. That's the conversion factor. So we put in a dollar in front of the C and a dollar in front of the three. I put in a pound symbol instead of a dollar. Again, all we have to do then is tick in the bottom right corner and auto fill. Likewise for the pound equals B5 asterisk for multiply dollar C dollar three. Again, that's an absolute cell reference. So when we copy this down. Uh, except in this example, sorry, it's not D3, it's just a C3, it's D3. Okay, so if you scroll down here, you have B5 by D3, B6 by D3, B7, B8, B9, etc. by D3.
equals b5 and again this time it's multiplied by e so it's star dollar e dollar three so again when we replicate that down the c3 or the e3 doesn't change that's an absolute reference likewise we have equals 10 euros asterisk dollar and then this time it's f3 click in the bottom right corner to autofill again everything else is the same in that um exercise you know for decimal places again you know what to do with the font so it's, uh, the contents of a1 or ariel 18 so uh, color blue so i can drop down the menu down to ariel size 18 and again if the number isn't here you can just type it in the color is blue and again if you hold the mouse over the color you can see it tells you the color so that's blue number five is to embolden the currency names in row four so we'll highlight the currency names here if you click in the number four it highlights that whole row but look we're just going to highlight the um the currency names click in home and click in bold Number six, it's highlight the cells B4, B4 to F5 and insert a chart of your choice. So again, it's B4, B4 to F5, B4 to F5. And how you insert a chart is you click an insert and you select a chart. That again, there's recommended charts. So there's various charts here, for example, you have bar charts, pie charts, and so on like this. We go for your dorsal column and click on OK. And there's your, your chart. Likewise, I'm just going to highlight it again. So normally you'd highlight headings and you'd highlight the, the tick or the data that you want to graph in terms of numbers. Click and insert. Again, you can go into recommend the graphs or you can select the various ones here. We'll go for a, a 3D pie chart this time. And there's your 3D pie chart. That's your chart. Number seven is to put the numbers from C5 uh, in the grey shaded area here, so C5 to F13 in two decimal places. Get right click, go to format cells, click a number, two decimal places, click on OK. Shade the range to grey colour of your choice. Can you just highlight, highlight this? So highlight the range and the shading is inside here. And again, we saw that already. So we select grey. Set the contents of A3 to A4. A3 to A4 in italics. I have italics like that. There's your graph. Again, bear in mind you have the, the auto fit. Again, move between the letters and just when you get that cross symbol and just double click. file and save as or save a copy and again be sure you click on browse and on your own computer then you have select your OneDrive folder so your OneDrive folder and again you're going to save yours into your your um spreadsheets message folder 